Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I'm having a great Sunday. Just arrived over here. I'm in the parking lot right now at Epcot. I told you guys I would be back over at Epcot this weekend in my last video over here at Epcot because Festival of the Arts ends in a week. On February 24th, I believe it ends. Today is February 16th that you're watching this. So this probably will be my last time at Festival of the Arts. So I'm trying to get everything in that I haven't done. All the food that I need to taste, I'm getting it today. And who knows, maybe buy some art even. Maybe, maybe. Welcome to Epcot. And actually, as of today, a lot of things have changed over here at Epcot. I'll go in a little bit of that uh, today and then I'll go in more depth in the construction of the video at the beginning of March. I love Epcot so much and hold up, wait, look, look at this. I think someone just, someone left this baby right here? Well, I guess, I guess I'm taking care of a baby today. I, I gotta, someone's gotta take care of this baby. Only playing guys, I'm actually babysitting today. So today at Epcot, we're gonna be doing a little bit of kid stuff, going on some slow rides and doing whatever parents do for uh, babysitting little kids. All right, so, uh, first new thing you can actually go this way now you weren't able to go left uh, by spaceship earth for a while for a couple weeks and they have uh, cast members up here pointing you in the direction where you need to be going so uh, right now we're gonna be headed right to the land and uh, the seas pavilion and yeah actually the cast members are not allowing anybody to go this way from the front of the park towards this way you either have to pick a choice you have to go left over there by mission space or go right over here by seas in the land so I guess today can be like maybe a little guide I don't really know a lot of things to do for little babies six month year olds but I'm gonna try and maybe today can help some of the parents out out there who don't really know what to do with the kids at Epcot but uh yeah we're gonna go have some fun at Epcot today first things first living with the land a very educational experience for these young kids. Just kidding, I doubt I doubt she's gonna learn anything on this ride, but the slow ride probably will be a little fun for her. Rainforests are also extremely rich from Epcot and the US Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to grow around the world. These are just popular crops raised by fish farmers. This integrated pest management program by populating our greenhouses with beneficial ends more while using less in our lab. So now that we are done over here in the land pavilion, now we can just walk over here to the seas and do another kitty ride, uh, the seas with Nemo and friends, and then after we can look at the fish. Plus it's air conditioned and inside, so it's a great place to cool off on a hot day like this. So it's very loud in here, very dark, but I think the plan is we're gonna do this ride, look at some of the fish in the aquariums, and then maybe hit one more ride in Mexico, the Grand Fiesta Tour, and we'll be done with rides for today. Here we go. I literally never come on this ride. I think I've only been on it like two times this whole time I've had a Disney Pass. Blue World! Mr. Ray, we can't explore without Nemo. I'm sure we'll see him any minute now. Games? I love games. Ooh, I'm thinking of something pink and bouncy that looks like a balloon. Yeah. Just got out, seized with me and one friends. I was gonna come over here and show the baby some of the fish, but she's asleep right now. So I think we're gonna skip out on this, head out into World Showcase now. All right, something I just saw regarding the construction over here. So you are no longer able to go this way uh, in between the character spots right here because uh, they are going to demolish literally this whole entire Innoventions West. They already demolished half of it. So they're going to do the rest of it, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, you're no longer able to go this way. You're forced to go either this way all the way around to where we came in over here or you got to go all the way this way. So it is actually very hard to navigate Epcot over here in Future World right now. Also over here, it looks like they have completed all of the flower beds for the upcoming Flower and Garden Festival. Last time I was here, like a couple days ago, they had this side to do. Now everything is completely done in preparation for Flower and Garden Festival. Last time stepping foot into World Showcase here, Figment inviting me in. Epcot International Festival of Arts, definitely been very fun. All right, first stop on my last adventure around World Showcase for International Festival of Arts brings me back to the Pop Eats booth right here. And uh, a lot of things look good over here, but I'm gonna get this almond 
frange pine cake. So unfortunately, this kind of looks like a storm is coming. I feel the wind coming and the air is getting a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna have to hurry around World Showcase right now and not get caught in this storm. So here's my almond frangipane cake with raspberry jam and Belgian chocolate. Wow, this is actually really good. The raspberry feeling is really, really good. And then the chocolate, the whole cake is amazing. That cake was so good. Honestly, everything I've had at Festival of the Arts has been really good. I think for the other festivals, there have been things that I got that I haven't really enjoyed, but Festival of the Arts, so far, every single thing has been enjoyable to me. You know I would come over here to France again and get these macaroons, but it only comes with three. Literally three macaroons and it's $9. I can't justify spending $9 for three macaroons. You know, if I had the money to purchase all kinds of artwork and it wouldn't affect my bank so drastically, I would definitely buy all this art. So much of it is so awesome. These artists are so talented. But I think of all the artists I've seen at Festival of the Arts, this guy, Tom Mautusek, however you say his name. This guy is my favorite. This, These art, all of his art is like very, very unique. It's awesome. I wish I could get some of this stuff, but it's a lot of money, 150 for like one of these big ones like this. I wonder how much like a small one is. These ones are still 50. But I mean, if you got the money, it's definitely worth it because these are really, really cool. So my second stop tonight is gonna be over here, the artist table over here in the American Adventure. I, tell you, I told you guys I was coming back over here. So I know last time I was here, I told you guys I was gonna come back over here into the American Adventure and I was gonna get something, the pan seared scallop. But as I look at this some more, it literally comes with one scallop, one scallop. And it has some like Parmesan crisp up top. And then these down here is like roasted red pepper cowlis, whatever that is. And uh, yeah, I thought this was actually gonna be like multiple scallops, but if it's just one, I don't want this. But whatever, on to the next one. So as I'm walking around Epcot right now, Epcot smells so good because look, they planted all these flowers in preparation for Flower and Garden Festival and they smell so good walking around. I really can't wait for Flower and Garden. That's my favorite festival here at Epcot. <laughs> so my first time ever, I'm gonna get something from over here in Germany. The Cuisine Classique. It's gonna be the Saint Honoré Tart. This is a caramel cream tart with caramel glaze and also topped with cream puffs. I have to say, this is pretty good. I'm a big fan of caramel. It's not the best caramel dessert I've ever had, but it's, it's pretty good. Definitely not the best dessert I've had at Festival of the Arts either. I think the cream puff, this round thing, is probably the best thing on this. So unfortunately, it started to rain just as I predicted. And uh, we had to come over here into China. And we're in the little Shanghai Disneyland exhibit. And there it is, Tron Light Cycle Run. I can't wait for this over here, Walt Disney World. It's gonna be so much fun, I can't wait. I thought the ride vehicles would be similar to uh, how Hagrid's are, but they're not. I tried them the other day, they're completely different. Well, now it has stopped riding, but as you can see, it's dark now. We only got one more country to go to. I don't know if we're gonna go on the Grand Fiesta Tour anymore, because it's pretty late now. We had waited for a while for that rain to stop. So guys, that will actually complete our night, and we are actually headed out of Epcot right now. But I just want to show you on the other side of Innovention, just like how we couldn't walk through Innoventions um, before by the seas, we can walk over over here on this side by where Old Mouse Gear used to be. And also yesterday, Electric Umbrella just closed forever. Um, so yeah, you can't eat anywhere over by Electric Umbrella anymore. You're not even allowed to go in that middle section of Epcot anymore. But we are forced this way to exit by the Gardens of the Galaxy roller coaster. All right, guys, but that will conclude the video today. That will conclude my experience, Festival of the Arts 2020. My very first experience with Festival of the Arts. I've never been to this festival and I really do love it. It became my second favorite Epcot festival. Maybe if it was longer, maybe if they had more booths, it would be my favorite festival. But as of right now, it's only like a month long. Not a whole lot of booths, but everything that I got was good. Every single thing that I have got at this festival was good. I loved all the artwork. Everything about this festival is really awesome. I can't wait for this festival next year, but Flower and Garden is coming up. And I had a lot of fun today with the baby, hanging out with the baby. 
it's definitely a different experience coming to Disney when you have to take care of a little tiny baby so shout out to all you people that bring your babies to Disney because it's definitely difficult and of course shout out shout out my girlfriend right here helping me out with the baby today no show she, me she pretty much did all the work I just I just uh, showed the baby a couple times I didn't I didn't really do too much but if you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed festival of the arts 2020 uh, leave a like down below don't forget to subscribe follow my Instagram at marcusq.mq Leave a comment down below on what your favorite food if you came to Festival of the Arts 2020 was. And thank you all very much for watching. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.